And since you guys want to see me eat the grossest fish imaginable. Where's my manners? You guys want one? It, this is actually going to taste like rubber. Oh, baby, is the game over? Oh, my God, that was sick. What's cracking guys? Hope you guys are having a beautiful day, my winners. Today is a special event. We are going to have to eat a sheep head. A lot of you guys recommended I do this. I put out a little survey. And a majority of you guys are sick. You guys really want to see me eat this thing. I usually don't eat out. Today we are though. Today's a special occasion. Hi there, what can I get for you? Hey, can I get a Big Mac combo? Yep. Anything else to say? No thanks. Perfect, Thank you so much. Is that everything? These are um, GMO flavored fries. Where's my manners? You guys want one? Guys, we fished yesterday. We didn't really catch much. Here's a little clip. Got him. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I can't see it yet. It's way out there though. Purge? Oh, that's a jumbo. Are you scared? <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm just kidding. I never went fishing. You never went fishing? Oh, I did not fish one day. That's I a big jumbo. Like <laughs> God. Oh my God! Big one. Big one. What? Big one. Yeah. Nice sheep head. And we're back. Okay, so we got the shrimp now. Top Chef cooked, cooked shrimp. Peeled. I don't think it matters if it's cooked or not, but if it's not cooked, it might release a little more smell. Okay, guys, so today we are going to be using shrimp on a pickle rig. Simple, simple stuff. If you guys want to see how I do it, check out the last few videos. And I'll see you guys when I have a fish on. Literally just dropped it. Drop. I just threw it out. Whoa! Whoa! He's tugging. He's tugging. What could this be? What could this be? It is a drummer. There you guys go. Sheep head catch and cook. This one's a perfect size. And since you guys want to see me eat the grossest fish imaginable that we can catch in our waters, here we go. And we're at home now. So as you can see in this bag, this goodie bag, I have a stinky, greasy sheep head. There she lies, right there. So I didn't bleed it out because I want the pure, real taste of this sheep head. Now I'm just playing, I actually just forgot. But listen, we're gonna go ahead and cut this thing up. Never cut a sheep head, but I'm just gonna do it. All right, let's get to chopping. This thing smells funky. But I'm gonna clean it like you would any walleye or perch. There's somebody getting tortured on my block. You hear that? <clears throat> gonna work down what is going on just working down the back it's pretty tough meat that's the first thing I noticed tough strong meat which makes me think if this is actually gonna taste like rubber and that's what a lot of people say all right I'm gonna butcher this thing do not judge and it's all bloody so it's gonna taste fishy for sure. Same thing on the other side. Guys, I don't wanna do this, I'm gonna be honest. But, since I'm loyal to you people, I'm gonna just go ahead and just send it. There we go. 
two butchered fillets. Anyways, guys, I'm doing this so you don't have to, okay? You better hit that like button, I swear to God. There was a video going around the internet of a guy going to a dock. He's seen a bunch of fishermen there. He had a plate of fish. He, he passed it around. Turns out, they all liked it. And guess what that fish was? Yes, it was sheephead. That's the only thing that gives me hope, all right? This might be good, most likely won't. I know a lot of people that I've talked to have tried it. They said it tastes like the water, which is actually disgusting. Let's stop mumbling. Let's get right to this nastiness. So this is what I'm cooking it on. It's just this little portable stove thing. Got my pan right here. I'm going to season it with African queen, hot pepper, ground. Some garlic powder and some salt. We're going to keep her simple. And by the way, if you guys never heard of this African queen, it's a pepper. I love spicy stuff. I want to try some new. Never tried this before. And you know what? Not going to lie. It's pretty soft. I'm going to turn down the heat just a bit. It's a bit hot. I'm not going to deep fry it. Just going to pan fry. Alrighty. All right. Here goes nothing. No dramatic sizzle. This is going to be terrible. Let's go ahead and season it. Put that African queen on there. Because trust me, I think I'm going to want to mask the taste of this fish. So we're going to season it pretty good. I honestly feel like I'm just wasting seasoning because this is probably going to be gross. And there we go. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? Get some salt on there. Would you guys try that? I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Would definitely rather have some perch or walleyes. All right, well, I think it's done. Oh yeah, that's definitely done. Holy cow, it's hot. All right, guys, here we go. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. No way. There's no way. There's no way right now. There's no way. It actually tastes good. Oh, oh my God. Guys, it actually tastes good. It's like chicken. So I'll admit, the texture is a bit chewy, but it reminds me of like a chicken breast. No fishy taste. Believe it or not, this is actually really good. All right, guys, so mind you, I seasoned this thing pretty good, and we put some lemon on there. So that's going to help with the taste, but for the most part, actually a good tasting fish. Sheephead, freshwater drum. I can't believe I'm saying this right now. I don't know what the fuss is. This is actually a good eating fish. Like, I'm actually gonna finish this. But listen, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I did try this out so you guys don't have to, but you know what? What the hell? Go ahead and try it. Good eating fish, can't even lie. The texture's a bit more chewier than a perch or a walleye, but I don't even know what to say, guys. Like, I'm out of words. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, leave me a like, a subscribe, Comment what you thought about it. Comment if you ever tried sheephead yourself. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day and even better night.